first few rehearsals we had a drummer called Andy Baker and he was um, an ex-member of the Verrucas and, and Sackridge which is one of my favourite bands I think collectively we were big fans of Sackridge. First rehearsals were kind of weird at first off because for them I just think uh, we didn't really know each other that well. We, we, we were quite nervous. We didn't, yeah. songs we didn't have, we just had this idea of a band. We wanted to be in a doom band. We wanted to do something and we wanted to emulate the bands we were into. And it was weird. Yeah. But we didn't really, we didn't know each other's personalities and we all like from different parts of the country and real, I was really nervous coming down and stuff. And, uh, I think we all were. Yeah. I mean, it was, you know, we it was all were because we had, we had the concept but we didn't have the, the way to approach yeah, it. Yeah, we didn't really know what we were. We knew what we kind of wanted to do. We didn't know how to sort of go about it sort of thing. And, we got there in the end, like, you know, but uh, it was kind of strange, the first ones. And then, uh, I think after well, that... Well, Griff was playing guitar. Yeah, Griff was playing guitar the first three or four years. So there was like two guitars and no bass. Yeah. And then, um, you switched to bass when Ben joined, I think. Yeah. Was it? Yeah. It must have been, yeah. Because uh, then we got a drummer called Ben Moffey. He joined for... Uh, Did the not, first demo. Yeah, not, um, not for long, but... He was a good drummer for the kind of style that we did. He suited us perfectly, really. Totally, yeah. He was uh, the good, slow good for what we did and everything. So we just went and walked along for a couple of months, got some stuff together, and then we were about to do a demo. And then, lo and behold... Another Acid Rain next member joined, came along. <laughs> <laughs> I took over from Gaz uh, about, I guess about three months after he left, it was about a month and a half after Acid Rain returned from Europe. Uh, their guitar player gave me a ring and asked me if I wanted to rejoin them, so yeah, yeah, I replaced Gaz and Acid Rain. And you were, was it Lord Crucify you were in before? Lord Crucify before that, yeah. Shreve. Deadline. With my... Deadline. Yes, Deadline. Deadline before that, yeah, yeah. Yeah. There's another band called Deadline now, I should yeah. see. It was literally a couple of days before we recorded the demo, wasn't it? Uh, I think I'd been down to the years for you before that, and uh, a couple of weeks before or something. What but I remember about... I about don't remember when the years, the, the like, night before. In the flat. Do it, and you were like, oh my god, it's going to be awful. <laughs> yeah, yeah. But it wasn't ready, it wasn't ready. It was like the same with Soul Sacrifice, writing all that stuff the day before. Yeah. We didn't have a name for the band or anything at the time, did no. we? No, what was it? it you you wanted to call it Father, uh, like I wanted to call it Tower of Silence. There's so many different Trinity was another one, I think. I remember, yeah, I remember we had all these uh, riff ideas and Gaz started coming up with more and more stuff and then. Um, yeah, you'd stop by all them, hadn't you, with the Morbid Doom? There's a few <laughs> Morbid Doom cast offs yeah. uh, flying around. <laughs> but then. I think you met Adam at a record fair, didn't you? In Leeds? Yeah. yeah. Well, I bumped into him a few times going around pubs and having it and stuff. Yeah. I think on one occasion I came back to you after you know, you put some morbid yeah, down so before yeah. he actually recorded. Yeah. Well, I remember yeah. getting the phone call off him, he'd been around there and you came yeah. over that riff at the end of Serpent Eve or something. And then, and then, and then, yeah, well I'd written that on my talk before and yeah, we'd been fiddling around there. Well I remember you sent a cassette down of just riffs. And I was listening to it thinking, Christ, this is amazing. It was like a funeral request and Serpent Eve on this tape, just oh, guitar. Right, yeah, yeah. I was like, wow, where's this guy come from? It's yeah. like, you know, the contrast between your style and Gaz, it was like absolutely perfect. I couldn't think, I, I, couldn't, I, didn't, I didn't know where you were coming from. It's like, who is this guy? Who is this guy? <laughs> How did he come up with these riffs and stuff? I thought he was fantastic, you know. And then when we actually got together and started writing stuff for the album, it was, like, it was great. <laughs> So how did you come up with those kind of ideas uh, at uh, that time, at that period of time? Cause to be honest, they just kind of came out of nowhere. Funeral request was, I was trying to do a kind of a bit of a Black Sabbath cross with which find a general type thing, but it just came out slower. Uh, and nothing sounded like any of the two. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> it didn't sound like them at all. 